Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on outside. We do have some partly cloudy skies across the metro. We'll continue to see that cloud cover fill in as we move throughout the afternoon hours. Not feeling too bad, a little bit warmer than we were this time yesterday. 64 degrees is the current temperature. A southwest wind at only 5 miles per hour. Temperatures across the rest of the state were in the 50s and 60s over the northern mountains. Into the 70s along the eastern part of the state. Two can carry at 71. Clayton at 70 degrees. As you move down to the south, we're a little bit cooler here. 69 in Roswell, 64 in Alamogordo, 65 in Carlsbad. A lot of the cloud cover down here helping to keep the temperatures a little bit cooler down in the southern portion of the state. And we'll continue to watch for that storm activity as you move down into the southwestern part of the state today. Taking a look at the winds across the state, not too bad at all. We are looking at only the five mile per hour winds in Albuquerque, three in Socorro. Down to the southwest, we are starting to see a little bit breezier conditions, and that's because the storm system is starting to pass by the southwest corner of the state. And this is where we're going to see some of the higher winds as we move throughout the afternoon, especially as we start to get some of the storm activity going. Here's the cloud cover across some of the southern portion of the state, and we're starting to get a few showers to start to sweep into New Mexico from Mexico and Texas, and more of the widespread shower activity is now just south of the state, and that's going to try to push its way into the state of New Mexico as we move throughout the afternoon. An area of low pressure starting to cross by the southwestern part of the state, and will slowly move south of the state of New Mexico as we move throughout the next 24 hours or so. So we'll continue with decent chances of showers across the southern portion of the state over the next day or so as that storm does pass to our south. We'll keep the chance for a couple of scattered showers over the northern portions of the state through at least today. Those chances start to go down as we move into tomorrow and Friday, but then we watch for a front to come through at the end of the week, and that'll give us another dose of moisture and a better chance of seeing some more showers later on into the weekend. But as we move through the rest of the week, we will be watching the storm system. We will be watching for the better chances of the storm activity in the southwest as we move throughout the day, and then as we move this storm south South of the state tomorrow, we're watching for the better chances to be down in the southeastern part of the state. We'll continue with spot storms over the northern and western parts of the state for tomorrow. And by tomorrow night, the storm starts to depart and we'll continue to hold on to those shower chances across the southeast. And then we start to dry things out, but only briefly because we do watch for a front to come through. Here's a breakdown with Super Storm Track. Where's the better shower activity as we move throughout this evening down in the southwestern part of the state? And as that storm pushes across the southern portion of the state, we'll continue to spread this activity into the southeast as we move into tomorrow and then eventually we start to clear this activity out but by the time we reach Friday you'll notice a few showers starting to develop over the northern mountains and that is because we have a front coming through and that's going to give us another dose of moisture for better storm chances once again over the weekend so we'll stay pretty active at least through the upcoming weekend and early next week southern Colorado for today temperatures in the upper 50s to low 60s with partly cloudy skies a few storms around but you will not be the focus for today we'll keep those chances around through the end of the week and into the weekend and then we dry out in the latter half of the weekend and into early next week with temperatures in the mid 60s over the northwest partly cloudy skies a spot storm not out of the question temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s we warm to the 80s for thursday and friday with dry conditions and then we watch for another chance of showers and storms over the weekend as that front starts to sweep through then we dry out early next week with temperatures right around 80 degrees over the southwest temperatures here into the 60s and 70s with some scattered showers around throughout the afternoon. We'll hold on to those showers through at least early tomorrow. We start to dry out tomorrow afternoon and then into the end of the week and into the weekend. But then that front eventually makes it your way by the time we reach late Sunday and into early next week. Over the southeast, temperatures here into the 70s, a little bit cooler over the Sacramento Mountains with partly cloudy skies. A few storms, especially as we move into the overnight hours and into tomorrow. And then partly cloudy as we move into the weekend and then better shower chances once again into early next week as that front starts to approach the southeast. Over the northeast, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds with a few storms around. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s. We'll get a break for Thursday, and then that front starts to sweep through. We watch for another chance of showers Friday and into the upcoming weekend, with temperatures back into the 60s over the weekend and early next week. Over the northern mountains, temperatures here into the 50s and 60s. 73 in Espanola with partly sunny skies. We'll get a break for tomorrow, and then another chance of showers and storms with that front as we move into the weekend and into early next week. East mountains, temperatures here in the 60s and 70s with a mix of sun and clouds, some scattered afternoon showers storms. We could get a shower here in the metro once again for today with temperatures in the mid 70s. But if we don't get that shower today, our chances really go down for Thursday and Friday as that storm starts to depart. But then we get another shot of seeing some wetting showers as we move into the weekend with that front passing through temperatures back into the mid to upper 70s for the weekend and early next week. Okay, great. Thanks yep. a lot, John.